Hello everyone and welcome back to Hunty's Dollies. I'm here for another fun video today. We are going to be talking about Fashion Photo PJ. She went on sale back in August, I believe, or was it September? I can't remember. Uh, she was a pre-order doll and she went very fast. Um, I was very happy to get her. I think she's a beautiful doll. I've always really liked the original fashion photo Barbie PJ and I believe there was a Christie from 1978. This is what the reproduction is based off of, 1978. Uh, fashion photo PJ. Uh, I was really excited to get her, so let's dive in. So, her box kind of resembles Superstar Barbie and Superstar Christie's. Here in a little bit, I will, once I get her out of the box and talk about her, I'll compare the other boxes to this one. But it's very similar, the same kind of pink window box. It's a little bit larger because she does have extra accessories that the other ones do not. And of course, the difference is it says Fashion Photo PJ, not Superstar PJ, even though she's got similar qualities to Christy and Barbie. And then on this side, you see different artist illustrations of the doll. Now, I should have looked it up. I don't know if these illustrations were original to the original box. If they were, let me know in the comments below. And it was just showing off her different accessories, the sparkling jewelry, the different costumes, the silver bodysuits, and letting you know you can mix and match all these accessories together. And then here is the back of the box. It has a little verbiage back here, which I'll read in just a moment. Uh, it has another illustration of PJ right here. Very nice, love these boxes. Again, like I said in the past videos, I'm a bit of a box hoarder, but that's okay because they are beautiful. And then I found this interesting. No more than 20,000 worldwide. Now, typically when they did that, I believe that she'd be considered a gold level doll when they were doing those pink, black, silver, and gold and platinum levels, which they really don't do anymore. But I think this would have classified her as a gold level doll if they were still doing that. And Again, this doll just came out. It, she was a pre-order. They didn't really say when she was gonna be shipped, but I got a notification while I was on my honeymoon that she had shipped. And then before I knew it, another notification saying that she was delivered while I was on my honeymoon. And thanks to my bestie, she came and put her inside my house so she wouldn't get messed up being outside. So, out of the box. She slides out of her sleeve like so. So we have here this very beautiful blue and green over skirt, which they show that she could also wear as a cape. So she wouldn't be very chic. Um, and she's wearing these blue kind of disco-y pants and I forgot to read the back of the box. So why not, why not I do that real quick? Let's, let's read the back of the box. Fashion Photo PJ, debuting in 1978 and reflecting the glitz of the Superstar era, this anniversary tribute celebrates Fashion Photo PJ, one of Barbie doll's best friends, who looked glamorous from the disco to the runway. Working the camera with warm brown eyes, pouty lips, and wavy chestnut hair, PJ is dressed in a metallic silver bodysuit with azure colored pants and a layered sheer tricolor overskirt. PJ is ready to transform her total look with every camera click while, match with, while matching shoes and sparkling blue stone accessories complete her breathtaking ensemble. With a classic twist and turn waist and bendable legs, Fashion Photo PJ is ready to strike a pose and turn heads. And boy, does she ever turn heads. So, now that we've gone over that, she has enough accessories to do a runway look or just a fashionable look, maybe going to a party or maybe for the red carpet, who knows? So uh, let's get her open. Now she, oh, okay, maybe they're bringing this back and I just didn't realize it. She is considered a gold label doll and how do I know this? Instead of putting on the box, now it's on the 
certificate of authenticity and it comes with a little bit nicer one it's on a thicker cardstock where the other ones have just been like paper the ones that came with the uh, superstar christy and barbie so that's interesting okay so she is considered gold label and it just says it certifies your barbie fashion photo pj doll was created through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at mattel i think all the all of them say that and it says barbie signature and gold label so my memory did not fail me now her stand is also different from superstar christine and superstar barbie they got white stands she got this blue azure i hope i'm saying that right stand to match her outfit which i like that i like seeing the variety in the doll stands especially when they match the doll so let me try and get all her little accoutrements out of here um her little accessories which are really cute okay sorry i'm trying not to get distracted here and i'm just trying to show you all that all so i'm getting her out so we're getting her accessories out first and let me know in the comments were you able to get this doll uh, I was watching her. I was literally watching her sitting at work, watching the countdown. And as soon as she came available, I refreshed and bought her. I wanted her really bad. All right, got those out. Now it's Miss PJ's turn to get out of the box. It's free her from her restraints. All right, her feet. And also just be very careful. They do like to tack down the outfit with these little plastic stays, which I wish they'd stop doing because it can leave little holes in the outfits, which then if you're not careful, even they'll, even they'll, they'll also snag. So be aware of that. And let's free her hand. So yes, as I mentioned in a previous video, I just got back from my honeymoon in Chicago. It was a lot of fun and I got a surprise. So uh, I don't know if any of you have been to the Bar Malibu Barbie pop-up cafe that's been popping up around the country. Um, the surprise was, is I thought well, I read online that the Malibu Barbie Cafe in Chicago was actually going to end the week before I was going to be there. So I was kind of bummed, like, oh, well, maybe they'll bring it closer to home and then I can go see it then. Well, I was in Chicago and my fiance, my husband, uh, not fiance anymore, husband, <laughs> I got to get used to saying that. Um, and I were sitting in like a little pub, a little Irish pub in Chicago. He ran to the bathroom. I was thumbing through. Uh, Instagram and saw Barbie Malibu Cafe in Chicago. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought this was over already. And so I clicked on it thinking maybe it was an old ad. Was not an old ad. And to my surprise, uh, they extended it. And when my husband came back from the bathroom, I was like, babe, they extended the Malibu Barbie Cafe. He's like, book it. And I did not hesitate, I whipped out my card. I booked it and I went uh, Thursday the 12th. And I, I gotta love my husband, he supports my Barbie craziness. He really does, uh, bless him, he really supports it. He even wore a pink shirt on, you know, on that day to, um, when we went to the Malibu Barbie Cafe and um he actually kind of gets into it he even got into the barbie movie when he went with me and my two best friends um so now you'll know why i married him the man just he he supports my barbie craziness so that's why i love him so, and uh anyway so we had a blast at the malibu barbie cafe if it comes to your area i believe we were told while we were there that uh, it was going to the Mall of America next. So if any of you live near the Mall of America, keep a lookout. The Malibu Barbie Cafe will be uh, coming there. So 
y'all live anywhere near Mall of America, make plans to go because you don't want to miss it. The menu, the food was actually really good. I got the avocado toast. My husband got the some kind of sandwich. I cannot remember. I just remember the food was great. They had uh, options of dessert. We got the macaroons and the orange dreamsicle uh, float, which was chef kiss amazing. <laughs> so uh, the food was great. It was probably the healthiest food we ate the entire time we were in Chicago because we kept eating Chicago dogs, Steve Josh pizza, and Italian food. I gained like 20 pounds. I'm exaggerating, only five, but still because we did a lot of walking in Chicago. When you go to Chicago, be prepared. It's a lot of walking. We probably walked 10 miles a day, which was great because we we're eating like crap. And it, you know, it kind of evened out. <laughs> but anyway, so the Malibu Barbie Cafe was a lot of fun. Um, My only complaint, oh, and I will try to insert pictures somewhere from that day. Um, because they do have like a Barbie box, kind of like similar to the movie theaters for the Barbie movie where you can get in, pose, but it had more, um, like 3D, more real accessories like you would find in a Barbie box, like a purse, some roller skates, things like that. Um, plenty of areas to take amazing selfies and photos with your friends, or in my case, my husband, um, the, it, everywhere. So it was a great for a photo opportunity. And again, so glad we got to go. Even he really enjoyed it. My only, only complaint is the merch to me was very slim. I don't know if it'll be better when it goes to Mall of America and I, because I got the tail end of it in Chicago, they just didn't have much. They had a couple of, can they had some canvas totes, which I got one for me and a friend of mine. And they had like these little pink, Glass tumblers said Malibu Cafe. I got one of those. And yeah, that's the only merch I got. They didn't have any shirts left. They had some ball caps, but I don't, I don't wear ball caps. And they had some fashionistas that were $25. And I was seeing the exact same ones on Amazon, ranging from $4 to $10. So I passed on a doll because I had one of them and I was not going to spend $25 on a doll I can get on Amazon or even at my local Walmart for pretty much 15 or more dollars less. So other than that, worth the go, worth the experience, and it was incredible. I'm so glad I got to go. Now let's get back to this gorgeous lady of the hour, fashion photo PJ. So she has chestnut hair. It's very similar, to, I think, to Christie's. She's got the kind of caramel, you know, highlights, but you know, kind of a lighter brown hair. Christy had a really dark brown hair. And her highlights are a little bit lighter too than Christy's. Christy's were kind of more orangey caramel. And this is more of a brownish, goldish caramel. And she is sporting a very similar hairstyle to Superstar Barbie and Christy Reproductions, instead, in, except she's got a middle part, they have side parts. And I keep looking over here because I have them <laughs> sitting next to me so I can kind of remember what I want to talk about. I think her jewelry is stunning. Instead of like the classic like little white, white diamond gems, she's got these blue ones. Maybe we can call them sapphires. And same thing with her ring, that blue gem instead of a white diamond one. And same with her necklace. Other than that, her jewelry is identical to Superstar Christy and Barbies. Now, her outfit is extremely different from theirs only because she's based on an actual doll that wore this outfit. Here's the tri-color skirt. You have a light green, this really pretty blue, and this other kind of darker green. It looks like a prom dress or I can't remember what, I call it a prom dress that Barbie wore in the 60s. Had very similar colors. I think it was mostly these two colors the skirt was made out of and with a green satin underskirt in this color green. Um, I have the dress up there. Yeah, I think it was very heavily based off that. Who knows, maybe we would tell extra fabric and decide just to reuse it in the 70s. And so it connects in the back by, oh, I like that. A snap, it's not tied. Oh, or is it, hold on. Never mind. it was tied, okay. 
Never, I was hallucinating. So this attaches the doll with these two, with a belt, a tie belt, basically. So you can tie it around her waist, around her shoulders. Again, I'm gonna show her wearing kind of like a cape. I like it better as a skirt, so I'll probably keep it that way. And now she comes in the box wearing her blue pants, and they ha it has a silver belt, and it is um, elastic waist, no Velcro snap. Now her silver bodysuit does connect and snap with these crisscross straps on it, giving a very nice um, looking form to it. Fit, fit, that's what it's called, fit, nice fit. And the um, snaps are plastic, which I'm fine with, as I've said before. If they don't use the metal straps not, or snaps because of anything other than they rust over the years. A lot of the older Barbie clothes, vintage Barbie clothes from the 60s, the snaps rusted and kind of ruined the outfit. It's almost like the way the jewelry gave the dolls green ear. So I'm fine that it's plastic because it won't rust and ruin the outfit over the years. <laughs> um. And again, like I said, these pants, elastic in the waist. She's got the typical shoes of that time period. Um, very similar to Superstar Christie and Barbie's, except hers are blue, where theirs are yellow and pink. And so there is that outfit. And now I'm going to pull her little pants off, her little pantaloons off. And we'll put the skirt on her because then I'm gonna actually display her in her skirt. So, note, note to all of you, if you're pulling the pants off, the shoe kind of comes off easily, but it should slide on just fine. So let me let me slide this on. It's my cool one. There we go. They slide on pretty easily. I'm gonna put the skirt on. So again, in the comments, let me know, A, if you got this doll, and B, if you've been to the Malibu Barbie Cafe and what you think about it. I really enjoyed it. I had a good time. And like I said, my husband actually enjoyed it too. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just trying to get this skirt on and it is on. Oh yeah, I like the skirt much better looks nice so here's the skirt very nice same material as the pants it's very soft kind of silky again they were trying to emulate the same fabric that they used in 1978 on the original doll and it's kind of it's very similar same kind of silver elastic belt at the top and same material and it has a very nice high slit in the back very much representative of the skirts of that time period. And now I'm going to tie her overskirt back on over this one because I like that look. And again, this is probably how I'm going to display her in my collection. And also, I thought it would have been cool, and I now I know why they didn't do this, because um, she's not a superstar PJ. She's simply fashion photo PJ, even though she's very similar to the superstar Barbie of that time and the superstar Christy. I feel like I have my own very little, my very own Charlie's Angels, because if you look at her, I feel like she looks a little bit like Jacqueline Smith in the face anyway. <laughs> Just me, I feel like she does. Um, so I, we have our Kelly, we have our Farah, and we have our, I'm gonna just go ahead and call her Sabrina. So my Charlie's Angels and my little mind are complete. And what I was gonna say is, I was hoping that they would come out with a blue version of this dress, like in this blue for her. I mean, it could be a fashion pack, Mattel. You're probably not watching, probably never watch my videos, but who knows, maybe they will one day. Maybe they could sell this dress in this color blue as a fashion pack for PJ to wear so she can match our superstar Christine 
and Barbie and Christine. Oh, look. I think that'd be cool. Even though I do love PJ's outfit very much, there's a lot here uh, to display her with. The only thing is though, her hair is a little, I'm, I'll probably send her off to my, to my um, doll doctor friend in California and have him restyle her hair. But other than that, I mean, her hair is nice, it's soft, but it's kind of crunchy and doesn't look good from the back, it looks good from the front. But um, she's still very pretty. She's got the Steffi face mold. And again, the superstar bar, bar body with the bent arms, bend and snap knee. And the twist and turn waist. So she looks very nice now. Also, if all if you have a original Superstar PJ out there, um, normally what I do if I have an original doll from the 60s or 70s or whatever, um, but I don't have their complete outfits, sometimes I'll search for the reproduction doll or buy two of the reproduction doll and steal the outfit from one for my original and have the reproduction for my collection. Now again, I do not have an original uh, photo, fashion photo of PJ, but if you do and you're missing some of her pieces and you want her to be complete, I've seen on eBay where they're selling just the outfit, all the outfit pieces and the stand. It's not cheap, but if you want to complete your original and you want a, an outfit that's in good condition, because I'm, I, I want to say that these fabrics are very similar to the original doll. So, just probably more vibrant because they're newer. But um, I think, I mean, if you're up for doing that, I would do that. Other than that, if you're happy with the reproduction like I am, very happy to have her. I love her, she's beautiful. Then um, unfortunately she sold out on Mattel and she's already on eBay going for almost double what she was going for on Mattel Creations. Yep. But um, she's worth the she's worth the money and she's worth to pick up. Now again, I'm sorry. These video, these last two videos are quite long and I apologize for that. And if y'all stay and watch them, thank you so much for listening to my rambling and everything else. <laughs> but um, I haven't done videos in a while and I really wanted to do a good job reviewing the PJ along with, you know, comparing her to the superstar Christy and Barbie. And while we're doing that, um, I will say that I guess Superstar Christine and Barbie are not gold label because they don't say that on the back like uh, PJ's did. So, and their boxes are pretty similar. Um, PJ's does not have the star print on it because she's not a superstar. Um, and also, with there, it's hers is a bigger box because she came with more stuff than they did. Speaking of, which I'm almost forgetting, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, she also came with these cute little photo stills of herself. So we have this one, and they're double-sided. So it's, I feel like this is kind of like her um, modeling portraits. So there's that one, looking very nice. There's that one. And it's also showing all the poses you can put her in. I'm not sure, let me know in the comments, if the original doll came with stills like this. Um, I can't see why she wouldn't, considering she came with that little camera thing and the rotating base. And here's another one. And again, they're double-sided, which I like that. They're very cute. I thought that was cute. So that is Fashion Photo PJ Reproduction from 1978. She just came out. I'm very happy to have her in my collection. She is such a lovely, beautiful doll. And even though she does not have a matching dress to my superstar Christy and Barbie, which maybe Mattel will do one day in her color of blue, maybe. Um, I absolutely love her. I love her outfit. I'm going to display her with them. And like I said, I have my very own little Charlie's Angels going on here. We got PJ, Barbie, and Christy to solve crime and put away bad guys. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Again, I'm sorry it's so long. Uh, 
and I'll see y'all in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.